Hey guys, Mike here and in this video we're having side by side the Samsung Galaxy S4 mini and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Both are what we consider these days solid mid-range smartphones and we're going to see which one is the better pick and why. First, let's have a quick look at the two. The S4 mini is the more compact and the lighter device here and because of that it sits better in hand and feels overall more comfortable to use. If you're fine with using a larger device with a larger screen, that might not matter much to you. But if you'd rather have a smaller and more practical handset, then the S4 mini should be your first choice. When it comes to the overall shape and materials used for the casing, the S4 mini and the S3 are very close. Glossy plastic is used for most of the case with some silver inserts on the sides. There's a hyperglaze texture on the rear part of the S4 mini, but that only looks somewhat better, it has no other effect whatsoever. Also, on the Mini there's a metallic rim around the screen, while the S3 relies entirely on plastic. Besides that, it's worth mentioning that the back panels are removable on both of these, hiding the batteries, SIM and microSD card slots beneath. And speaking of those, the S4 Mini will be offered as a dual SIM option as well in some areas. The screens occupy most of the front faces on the two. There's a 4.3 inch display on the Mini with QHD resolution and a 4.8 inch one on the Galaxy S3 with HD resolution. That makes the panel on the S3 sharper, but you'll hardly see any differences in everyday use even when having these two side by side. We're talking about AMOLED panels in both cases, with their vibrant, oversaturated colors, deep blacks and good viewing angles, but also fairly low brightness. So the two are extremely close, except for the size and density. There is however one other thing worth mentioning. The S3 bundles a bright notification LED placed on top of the screen near the earpiece, while the S4 mini lacks one. But the Mini does have some ACs down its sleeve too. It offers wider 4G LTE support and an IR blaster. Anyway, this aside, let's power on the two phones. Both are running Android with TouchWiz UI. There is however a newer version of the OS on the S4 Mini and for the time being that does add some extra features. Besides that, the two bundle pretty much the same apps and gestures with only very few extras included on the S3. Both are snappy during everyday use and can easily handle multitasking, games and videos with only occasional stuttering. And that despite the fact that they are powered by different hardware platforms. On paper the S3 might look better with its quad-core processor, but in real life and in benchmarks the S4 mini actually outspeeds the older Galaxy. Once again, this proves that we should not judge smartphones based on technical specs alone. However, there is one technical detail that you have to be aware of. The two phones support up to 64GB microSD cards for your content. However, you can only install apps and games on the internal storage space. The S3 is available with 16GB of storage or more, out of which about 11 are available for apps. The S4 mini only comes with 8GB of space, and only about 5 of those are accessible, thus if you plan on installing many large apps and especially games, you'll quickly run out of space. With that on the table, let's turn our attention on the cameras. Both phones feature decent 1.9MP front-facing shooters that can take 720p clips. On the back, we'll find 8MP main cameras on the two with flash, so they're actually on par. When it comes to actually taking photos and videos though, I do feel that the Galaxy S3 is a notch over the S4 mini, mostly when it comes to dim light shots, where the S4 version does produce grainier results. In fair light, the two are pretty much neck and neck. And the same can be said about the videos recorded with these handsets as well. However, the S4 mini does offer a more advanced camera interface, with modes, filters and advanced options borrowed from the Galaxy S4. But the S3 can do pretty much all the things the S4 mini can, although you'll need to dig a bit deeper through the options for that. And then there's the battery life. Both handsets offer removable batteries, but the S3 does pack a higher capacity one. In practice though, both can go through the day with average use and can last for about 2 or maybe 3 days with light casual use, all on a single charge. If we're comparing numbers, the S3 will outlast the S4 mini in most cases, but at the same time there are scenarios where the S4 mini comes on top, for instance when running games with the screen set at maximum brightness, so this chapter ends in a draw. In fact, the entire Samsung Galaxy S3 vs the S4 mini is more or less a tie. Each phone has its pros and cons, but they are overall a fair match. 
The S3 offers the larger and higher resolution screen, the marginally better camera, more storage space and a notification LED. The S4 mini is lighter, more compact and somewhat faster. It is however a bit more expensive than the S3. Over here it sells for about 10-15% to more off contract. But don't forget that the S4 mini is brand new, so I expect prices to even out in the next months or so. In the end, it's up to you to choose the one that better suits your needs and taste. I for one lean towards the S4 mini because I'm not a fan of large smartphones. You however might feel otherwise. That's why I'd like to know what would you pick between these two galaxies, so leave your replies below. Anyway, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and share it around. I'll catch you later.